found myself kind of hopelessly entangled in by the time I was like 17, 18. It, was, it started so early. I did ballet and gymnastics. So long story short, um, my intention was to share about uh, PTSD, about healing from traumas, about unconditional love. And then now I've like, met cool people. Um, Sean, Don, Juan, and I know energetically that things are, uh, <laughs> this is Honda, if you ever met Honda, that things happen the way they happen. I don't know how to reply to comments properly, and on my cell phone, hey, don't bite your mamas. Oh, she got a feature. Lie down, please. Stop. So, um, Where's Flossie? Go get Flossie. You can show them that you can go get Flossie. He knows the names of his toys. He's so smart. There's Flossie. Because we have Flossie, we have George, we have lots of toys. So now it's turned into this, which is totally consistent and in alignment with the energy around talking more, I guess, and just opening myself up. So, I'm a Leo rising, I mean, a Leo sun, Virgo rising, Gemini moon. So sometimes I don't want to do that because I literally feel like I look ugly and feel like I have nothing to say. And, um, and really, maybe I don't, um, but, uh, if I help even one person at any time, then I'm happy. Also, coming, it's not coming out, but being able to share that I use cannabis to help me. It's literally without it, I could not sustain uh, the absence of an eating disorder in my life. I, I, it's just, I don't even want to think about stopping because there's no point. But I did recently have uh, a therapist, like I changed therapist recently in the last like, year. And it was like the first therapist in California. Yeah, they see you, are so cute. That um, was like weird about it. He was like, you can't smoke marijuana. I'm like, it was like our first conversation. So he hasn't even like felt me out. That's here nor there. But also being open to review marijuana. Um, sometimes they're just reviews. Mostly it's uh, a topic or a meditation and a pot review or something. My intention here is to be a service. I don't make any money. I doubt I will ever make any money from this. And um, in terms of money, that's energy too. So that moves. And I feel like I want to send everybody and anybody that's watching this channel or this this video abundance and the form of money and every other way to you and your family coming to non-stop from sources known and unknown constantly receive it so um i feel like it's becoming really hard to have conversations with people somebody today compared this is a friend of mine when i talk to people on the phone like people i speak to on the phone are few far between and fucking really smart uh, i don't talk to a ton of people on the phone i spend a lot of time with a ton of people at this stage in my life but the ones i do are super um legit intelligent people this guy compared the cunt virus to AIDS. What? What does it do? I know, that's what I said. I said, oh, you can't really come. That came out, there wasn't a cure. It was like, a, there weren't alternative agendas being met at every corner by sustaining a lie or at least a. Uh, you have to slide out. And thank you. Uh, at least you can see to um, an exaggerated, very exaggerated truth. Um, and then it comes political. I'm like, no, dude, I'm just trying to have a conversation with you. 
and then there's just like one friend. Every time I send anything to anyone, it's not like I'm not looking for new shit, you know? Like I'm not looking for stuff to be scared of or to make people afraid or anything. I only ever want to be of service and help people. Hey, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I know. It's a bug. But she broke the screen on the window. Anyways, I wanted to tell you, it's hard to communicate with people about a lot of things. It was weird. Another, th it's with the same friend that. Uh, equated it to AIDS. I had to, like. I showed up right away because I remember his brother died. Of it. So that's like an isolated situation and maybe a basis to be a little more afraid of like an unknown virus that comes out. But um, he was in Germany for a long time, like five months, he just went back to LA. He's like, dude, we contained it in Germany. I'm like, da, da, da. And I'm like, either what the fuck is going on in the rest of the world? Or like, what's going on here? You know what I mean? Like, cause places you see, it's like, Wuhan's completely back to normal, blah, blah, blah. It, or is it? What's real? You know, and of course they've gotten on to the fact that we know that all mainstream media is basically, um, you know, uh, scripted agenda material. So, um, you really have to more and more feel what's true. My dad, on his last marriage, um, which was his fourth, his fourth last night, he just randomly said to me one day, you know what's really cool? And I was like, who's that dad? Like musically, I guess. And he's like, uh, James Dean. I was like, okay. And I knew it was like his wife. Um, so I had a really sweet experience this morning. Like, I saw something that made me feel like it was. I saw this woman and this daughter, and they were waiting like, for a. A bus. I think I forgot a story, did I? I was talking to people. Oh yeah, the German thing. I, that was too like, yeah, I'm done with that. What, what's real, you know? Um, I think what's real, what's real is what's in your heart and your relationship with God. I feel like it. I feel like this has been called already. If you know what I mean, like, I don't know, and maybe those are the people that aren't meant to, like, get it or to challenge information, factual stuff that is, for me, literally, like, who's doing anything but thinking about how we navigate this new experience, how we create a really tight and network people that agree on a few basic things like don't steal don't abuse people don't be violent with people don't um you know take advantage of shit like that like really basic one-on-one -on -one stuff it's a felony in la now to animal abuses. I feel like every one of those motherfuckers that have been arrested for starting fires in California should also get incessant or infinite, however they would like to write it, the courts can do it the way they want. They should have a um, infinite number of felonies for all the animals that they have murdered. The smoke's getting better. I meant like the smoke in Venice Beach, like not in my phone. I didn't even know I like said this, but I guess the phone do everything. It said, uh, like for the temperature.
temperature is 73, cloudy, smoky, unhealthy. <laughs> So, yeah, I just think, I mean, uh, I don't know, I'll post this video. I might as well just add the review that I wanted. No. We're happy with you. Anyway, let's all love each other, be nice, and I guess just also let, I'm like letting go a lot more. Um, just like protecting myself, like a big ass green light for all the love I got. Got a big ass stop sign for other people's negative energy, so it doesn't like infiltrate. Yeah. And I, as much as it feels counterintuitive not to share all this helpful stuff I find, maybe it's just meant for me and the people I connect with at this point. I feel like it's shifting into. Don't just. I mean, I'm unique in a bit that I don't speak to a lot of my family, but don't just talk about things that are really sensitive right now without an intention and a plan and, a, and I guess a knowing, a solid goal of it having a point. Two people arguing about shit. And who gives a fuck if Trump wanted to assassinate someone two years ago? I love that he tweeted it. He's like, yeah, we're taking him out. He's like, he finally admits this thing he wanted to do two years ago. Who gives a shit? <laughs> like, go master it. You can do anything else besides, you know, um, talk about that. How about this Kamala Harris? Do you guys remember two years ago when a uh, journalist in California were reporting that Planned Parenthood was selling baby body parts? Remember? She arrested the journalist, did nothing about the sales of the baby body parts. Look it up. And I'm so sick of people like saying they're gonna look shit up. I'll have to look, like, First of all, I'm not trying to be contentious here with you. Um, I'm just telling you a fact. So don't have this tone, like, I'll get back to you on that. Like, I know, first of all, you're not going to even probably think about it again. Um, so I guess it's just also choosing and knowing that some people are not going to give a fuck. And that's okay, too. But also... And I, I'm, I'm, like, I'm like calling myself out on this, but um, I know that I have the propensity to be prepared for an army when maybe just one motherfucker's coming. You know what I mean? That came out funny. One motherfucker might scare me too. But I, I, I do feel like. I'm very blessed and feel thankful and I love you God and I love you Donna and I love every person on this planet and I pray for healing of every person on this planet and um, I guess it makes it easier to understand that maybe some people aren't even people. I don't know. But I feel like it's I'm just in the happiest, safest place with the coolest person I could ever imagine. Does Hondo B. Where's he at? He's the doggy in the window. <laughs>